Does it make you at all uncomfortable that you're leading your audience across a bridge to nowhere? Capitalism, love it or hate it, in cooperation with globalization, have made Western nations increasingly dependent on non-white nations for basic essentials, from natural resources to food to capital. The United States alone imported $2.21 trillion in goods in 2016. 1.7 trillion of that was imported from non-white countries. For reference, that's larger than the economies of Sweden, Switzerland, Austria, Norway, and Finland combined. Are you really willing to risk our quality of life, our financial security, and our lives for a fool's errand? I've noticed that people who have racist or race realist ideas if we must also tend to have other prejudices as well such as that women should be relegated to the home there are only two genders and people need to remain identified with the one they were identified as birth or that gay people are degenerates who shouldn't marry as these ideas are also not supported by modernity or science have you ever considered that it is much more likely that your hateful ideas are based in personality or learned biases than any reality many of the people playing defense attorney for you like to claim that we call everyone racist and Nazis by pushing the idea of we need to preserve the white race and white genocide is an issue that needs to be discussed. Aren't you proving our point that you are the things we claim you are? Not even a full century ago, scientific racism, what you might call race realism today, was an acceptable slash mainstream viewpoint to hold in society. Why do you think that over the last hundred years, the scientific community has so completely abandoned race realism, especially given the fact that the last 50 years is when the majority of genetic research on humans has occurred, uh, and it's distanced us further from that. Bonus points if the answer doesn't sound like the plot to national treasure plus racism. How can you claim that black people born in the UK aren't British? but white people born in North America are t entitled to North America. I mean, you are aware that North America does have a native, indigenous, non-white population, right? Will you guys condemn the acts of violence, including murder, of course, um, committed by white nationalists uh, or in the name of white nationalism? There's lies, damn lies, and like the statistics. Uh, yes, there probably is data out there that with a bit of manipulation you can use to support your claim that black people commit more crime. But don't you think your motives for finding this data are a bit so my big question for the alt-right, and, and I, I presented a version of this question to uh, in, in conversation with Mike Enoch on the Worski Live program. The, the, the co-opting of the language regarding right of return and the alt-right position on homelands seems um, extremely inconsistent. Because on the one hand, one of the major alt-right talking points is the, about the right of uh, Europeans to return to their homelands and that white people deserve a nation. And then uh, right along with it, the same people will talk about how white people are entitled to the countries they built. Built. It's, it's incomprehensible to me that you know, white nationalists get to co-opt the language of uh, disenfranchised people. So like when Palestinians talk about the right of return, you know, they have they have a lot more legitimacy because they're talking about having been displaced by an external uh, imperialist force, whether it was the British or the existing Israeli government and their expansions. Um, nobody put white people out of Europe. Uh, white people traveled out of Europe, white people left Europe. The the idea that somehow this 
uh, the United States of America is a is a white homeland is not only uh, profoundly inaccurate, despite the the whatever the racist scribblings of the uh, founding fathers <laughs> would imply. It just doesn't seem like a consistent argument, you know. It, it, even if it was consistent, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be particularly valid. But I just don't understand that if the alt right wants the soil that their blood comes from, um, why they wouldn't then be consistent in their logic and say that, uh, you know, the Native Americans and First Nations of North America could then have the land that their blood came from back. So, some questions for race realists, or as I like to call them, racists. How exactly can you justify your views? Like, if someone decided that all white people should have to be put on a separate island, away from the rest of society, or decided that all white people should be gotten rid of in some other way, some not so peaceful way, would you not feel angry? upset, disgusted, outraged? So why do you think it's okay to hold these views about people who aren't white? I often hear advocates of race realism defend or attempt to rationalize the creation of an ethnostate, which on the surface makes sense, since an ethnostate is really a racial state when you build it along racial lines, such as white versus non-white people. Are you aware, however, how self-defeating it is to even allude to the existence of ethnicities in those arguments? After all, every biologically grounded argument for race realism references phenomena that, even when they're well-founded in real biology, are better explained by specific analysis of a certain ethnic group, or even a specific regional mutation within an ethnic group. Are you aware of this massive self-own within your movement's rhetoric of choice? Are you aware that to the degree that you are open to the idea of violating the rights of others based on race, gender, or any such designation, you're the enemy of democracy and freedom, and that people of good conscience will never stop fighting you, and you will never win? Why is it that you guys claim to be pro-white, but yet when a white person like, say, Heather Heyer gets murdered, uh, you defend the murderer? It almost seems like you're rather anti-white. Many of you are advocates of ethno-nationalism. This practice was used by the Nazis during World War II to justify the Holocaust. Based on this information, and your claims that you're not racist, what makes you think ethno-nationalism is a good idea? Do you think if we were to elect a lot of marginalized people, like a ton of them, that the US government should be able to, for no real reason, deport you to your ancestors' countries? I mean, you could ethno-state somewhere else. How do you comfort yourself, given your need to insist ad infinitum that race is real? Very few people argue that race is not real. The more common consensus is that race is a series of sociological boundaries that shift with time based on changing perceptions of different ethnicities and cultures. If you found this clarification to be enlightening, I do of course have some books I could lend you on the subject. I noticed that you were recently concerned about the level of misogyny in your movement, and I just want to know, what did you ever think was going to happen? They don't like women. They want to put them on housewife arrest, whether they like it or not. And their promises to protect you, well, they'll protect you from other people with skin tones they don't like, but they won't protect you from themselves. They want you to be a possession, a thing, and that is fundamentally not going to work because you're not. You're a person, a real, live human being with thoughts and desires and hopes and dreams of your own, and they're never going to be there for that. I mean, you do get that, right? You're a baby factory. And unless you're 100% sure that that is all that you will ever want out of life, then, well, I mean, then I guess I don't understand why you would want to be with people like that who would treat you that way and think of you that way. I guess I'm just curious about how you feel about that. So, peaceful ethnic cleansing. Let's say you want to peacefully round up all the people that would have to leave in order for you to consider this place 
an ethnostate. What happens when they refuse to leave their homes? Uh, what if peace isn't an option? How then do you achieve your ethnostate? Do you try to do it with like lawsuits? Cause I feel like that wouldn't work. Next case on the docket, plaintiff Spencer is suing defendant Jackson because he is black. I, I, I don't think I don't think we're going to proceed with this case. There's a question. Go since you're, no, Mr. President-elect, go, go Mr. President-elect, since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you, not can you. you give us a chance? You're, you are attacking our news organization. Your organization. Can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you stay? Can you, Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you stay She's asking a question? Mr. No. President-elect, can you give us a question? You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be 